For a couple of games, I just started running the ball more, and um, if they weren't putting me down, I was basically just trying to offload. I think it's good in a way, but sometimes I think, you know, if you're thinking about offloading, then your, your effectiveness as a runner uh, becomes hampered, I think. Let's cast our mind to Melbourne, uh, Freddie. Very important game uh, for the Roosters. You're, you're missing a number of uh, quality players, a couple of suspensions. And Melbourne are starting to find some form again. Uh, this would be an important win for you guys. This will be a big win. I think one thing that sort of got overlooked last week against Brisbane, we went in there with a lot of kids and, you know, they did a really good job. And you know, these kids are going to be backing up again this week. And, you know, this will be a real good test for them to see, you know, the quality of, you know, our young blokes coming through. So, you know, I'm sure they're going to do a great job. And, it's one of those games where we lose, we might drop down to sixth place and, you know, it's pretty critical this time of year to, you know, stay with the front runners. Brad, with the, uh, the next thing you play will be a State of Origin match, the first State of Origin up there in Brisbane on the 6th of May, so a nice freshen up for you. Now, be fair, Dinkin, where do you want to play? Do you want to play 5'8th or do you want to play lock? I want to play 5'8", yeah. um, especially with the side we've got. Uh, there's no reason for me to go to lock, I don't think. I think, you know, when you've got so many good back rowers, um, you know, I think it's going to be ineffective trying to throw me in there and uh, you know, then we're going to have one more ball player. Well, I think if we go with our uh, more solid back rolls, then you know, when you've got the likes of Joey, Brett Kamali, if he's, you know, whoever plays halfback. Well, just on that, Brad, have you got a preference? I mean, I know it's hard to pick between plays, but who would you like to have inside you? It's hard to say. I, Andrew at the moment, most early, you know, in my eyes, I'd say it'd be the best player I've ever seen. He's showing that many skills in, you know, all areas of the game. His defence, his attack, he's He's just really taking the game apart at the moment. But on the other hand, I think Brett Kamali, uh, the way we played last year was a lot due to the way he plays the game. So I think uh, he's very effective at that sort of level. And I don't think we can take uh, his club form so much into, you know, into his play. I've been watching him most weeks and, you know, he's putting in the same determination that he was doing at Melbourne and that he does it for Australia and New South Wales. Freddie, you've uh, obviously got two weeks off. What have, what have you got planned for this afternoon? When you're not playing, you're going to have a qu couple of quiet sherbets or...? I had a couple of quiet. <laughs> I had uh, Adrian Morley come over yesterday. I had a couple of quiet sherbets. Oh, the Sinbin boys. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, basically having a bit of a rest today. Go for a swim. Good on you, buddy. All right, Brad. Thanks very much for joining us there. Live from Long Reef Golf Course. Uh